What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob. Hollow Avarice back with some gaming goodness. Uh, today we are here uh, to do a little bit of Fortnite. And when I say that, I mean that. A little bit of Fortnite. Um, the downtime for this season starts at 11 p.m. tonight. Meaning I have nine hours to do whatever I'm not doing. And I know they, they came out with a new story quest. I got eight hours to finish it. Sorry. And that's all I wanted to do today. I wanted to bop in. I'm uh, pretty sure everything else for the season is done. Right? I have all my battle quests, or my battle pass rewards, my bonus rewards, all the super skins, quest rewards, Magneto. All need to be gotten today. Uh, I got everything I want out of the shop. All these things are leaving soon. Are these all leaving soon? Okay, these are here for a few more days, but I got them. Billy Eyelash is finally leaving. Same with uh, these really awesome new Star Wars skins. IG-11 and Moff Gideon. I'm sh ashamed of myself that I didn't recognize Moff Gideon's armor during that trailer that they dropped. The, uh, the D23 trailer. And I finally got, uh, Ming Na Wen, the pathetic Shand. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And Metallica's finally gone. Alright, so I want to dive in and do the epilogue. So this is going to be a quicker video. Um, but, and I'm going to be doing one or two other streams today. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a Mario, Paper Mario stream. Tomorrow morning, I'm not sure what time, at like maybe like 2, 3 a.m. I'm going to be doing a Genshin Impact stream. Um, and then tomorrow I will be back to do our first look at Fortnite uh, chapter, season 5, chapter 4. Uh, let me quickly look up, though. We would hear the Genshin 5.0 live stream. Uh, nine hours. So it'll actually be around 11 o'clock tonight. I will be doing the Natlan, Genshin Natlan 5.0 stream. Okay. You know, let me leave that open just so I have that. But for now, let's check out what the uh, final... I also really haven't done any rank this season, as you can clearly see. I'm what, silver? Yeah. Yeah, you can see I've barely done ranked. Uh, let's just do Battle Royale. All right, let's try again. I guess ranked, so let's try ranked. Do I care if we die? No. Well, this is problematic. Mm. I'm gonna try one thing. If this doesn't work, I might just... I'll try just exiting and coming back in. Maybe it's connection on my end. My internet is strong. Yep. All right. I also have not really looked into the battle pass. 
I, I don't want to preemptively dive in. Had to give it a minute, I guess. Turn it off and back on again. All right, um, No more dancing. All right, so where do I have to go? Ask Bright Raider or Rust about the pipeline explosion. You know, we'll go right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one's Rust, which one's Bright Raider. I think this one's Rust over here. We'll go ask Rust. All right. I've been playing as Cyclops because, again, probably one of my favorite X-Men. I think he's a great leader. He's the best villain the X-Men ever had during his run as the villain of the X-Men. Um, but I'm very excited to see where we go with this season of uh, Marvel. Obviously, Absolute Doom. We know the Doc is going to be a major character. Mr. Rust. The pipeline exploded. So, confession oh. time. I've been talking to Magneto. Oh, great. Because he seems trustworthy. Why are you talking to Magneto? Well, he came to talk to me. Things are about to get weird, aren't they? Ah, well, I Magneto. The magic water ghost, Sorry, so the, sea, the thing ended ghost? with us getting the jewels of Pandora's box and <laughs> her getting the oracle. A, a soothsayer. Hey, Rust, what a happened? Very powerful lady! Don't get it twisted, Miss Underground. Do you want to talk or not? Yeah, fine. Okay, walk with me. Okay, damage the... Uh, survey the damage at Redline Rig. Easy enough. So, what we know about the upcoming season. We know we're getting Doom. As we should, because Doom is great.
Grab a turret and some better wheels. I'm not here for you, my guy. Worry not. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh my god, the pipeline is gone and everything is wrecked. It just looks so wild. I love how devastated it is. box chilling there it's back this box should destroy it all comes down to me but instead it talks to you what does it show you speak to magneto at weapon what x does it say? when i connect to the box it promises me everything i've ever wanted Captain Tough Guy. Hope and this box, they're linked by fate, by the cycles of time and destiny eternal. But the Wanderer, his interference has warped this fate. His presence mm -hmm. has rewritten the stars themselves. And now it is not enough to simply close the box. You must fight. And you must win. Okay. So I like how they're tying in Hope more with Pandora's box. Obviously, uh, in the myth of Pandora's box, after Pandora opened it, um, all that was left in the box once she was done was Elvis, the spirit of hope. Good, it's not taking too much yet. I remember when people were talking like there was going to be Godzilla underneath this wall and some crazy stuff. Obviously, that never happened. You're the keeper of the box, yes? Forgive me for speaking plainly, but that thing's going to destroy us all. I've already set up a beacon to call reinforcements here. I can't verify the wander who the Wanderer is, but if it is who I think it is, if it's him, if he's the one seizing the powers, this place may be doomed. Nice. If I feel like if this came out before the trailer came out, that would be an awesome tease. But now it's like, yeah, we know it's Doctor Doom. We'll discuss it with Jonesy. All right.
problem. It's absolutely going to be talk with Jones and talk with Hope. So that's probably all we're going to be able to get off this one. So let's see, characters we know are coming are Doom, Emma Frost, um, a Sabertooth variant that is Meow Skulls. Cora, I'm busy. I got my shadow everything. And Korra killed me. I actually just finished a rewatch of Korra, too. Uh, with someone who'd never seen it before. And with no nostalgia, so they also had never seen Last Airbender until recently. Um, and actually preferred Korra to Last Airbender. In many, not all instances, but they liked that it was more mature and... They raised up some good points that I didn't really see. I've always liked Korra. I always thought Korra was overhated. I think raised some good points for me. Like season one of Korra, I think is a tighter and better story than season one of Last Airbender. It was just a more mature, tighter story. And I feel like if Korra knew there were going to be four seasons from the start, the story would have been better. I feel like Nickelodeon hamstringed that show. I'm really wondering what's going to change. I know there have been some map leaks. I've been avoiding them. Because, like, we still have a bunch of desert wasteland. We still have the Greek season in both the Underworld and Mount Olympus, which I think is wild and fun. Um, yeah, I think it's really... Um, so 
yeah, uh, I, I think Koro is a really underappreciated season. Uh, underappreciated show. Season one is phenomenal. It, it's underappreciated. Yes, it does lean a little hard in some of the romance subplot. And that was a big issue of mine with season two as well. Yeah, so Korra Season 1 is great. Korra Season 3 is great. Particularly in its villains. Zaheer, the Red Lotus, all top tier. Same with Season 1, Amon, top tier. I'd say Amon and Zaheer are both better villains than Ozai and Azula. I love Azula to death. Probably one of my favorite Avatar characters. But I think as villains, Zaheer and Amon are both way better foils to the Avatar. And Ozai was a threat. Ozai was a force of nature. He wasn't even really a villain, in my opinion. Yeah, so I think Korra's phenomenal. Um, a lot of the side characters, like Asami's great, Bolin's great. They gave Bolin... He was he made a lot of dumb decisions, but I like him as a character a lot. Mako was a little relationshipy and silly. Uh, and then... The obvious weak seasons are season four and season two, and that's because Nickelodeon. Again, it wasn't. I do not blame the creators or the Korra itself as a series for its failings in those seasons, because they thought season two would be the final. Then, partway through making season four, they were told they couldn't get some of the episodes they wanted to make, and a lot of them were censored, and their budget was cut. Sucks. Um. Why am I talking about Korra? Because I just sort of shut it down my mind and I just saw something about Korra. Um, here.
Sevilla. Okay. Um yeah. The my big problems with season 2 was the pacing was very off. And uh, uh, Unalak was a very weak villain. But it did have beginnings, which I very much like. It did have some really great storytelling. been doomed before even by a box-shaped villain, the cube, right? My guy, I'm doing a quest. Who does that? Who does that? That's a, a jerk move. couldn't wait 10 seconds to shoot me. As soon as I'm out of the quest, you can shoot me just fine. Uh, and season four, obviously the budget screwed over season four. It still had some beautiful moments, uh, but I feel like Kuvira wasn't the greatest villain because we didn't know enough about her, because they didn't get to do the Kuvira episode that they wanted to do. Obviously, they didn't get to do any of the relationships that they wanted because it's a kids' network and blah blah blah. Talk to Hope, yeah. I want to go back and talk to Jonesy first. find out what he said.
still waiting for the Water Witch to call me back. You were meant to be the hope at the bottom of Pandora's box. I mentioned that earlier. Help us. It. It's literal. It's literally your name. Take it up with the fates, okay? Spray Hope's graffiti at wasteland sites. The Nitrodrome. You surprised me, sorry guys. are still going to be Jonesy and now This wanderer has taken the box's power for himself. Red line, and he red. has sealed your fate along with his. There is no turning back for you now. Oh dear. That doesn't sound great. Doom has stolen Pandora's box, which is messing with Hope's feet. No one's gotten here yet. Never mind. Excuse me, sir. Cool. You must 
fight this Everything's world. Everything's a sake, failure is not an option. But I'm just hope. I don't know if I am who you think I am. If you take a stand, Ooh, hope's graffiti. others will follow. You need not stand alone. But hope, you already have everything you need. Prepare for a war, my child. A war you must win. Go, uh, kill? Like, I don't care about any of this, right? Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing more than this stuff to look at me. So what we know, characters we know that are going to be in the next season. We know Duke. We know Emma Frost. We know Meow Skull's uh, variant of Sabertooth. Was there a shield there? No, oh, there was a shield. We know Doom, we know Emma Frost, we know Sabretooth, we know Skulls, and we know Mysterio. Alright, one, two, three, four. Heroes, we know we're getting Captain America Jones, which is pretty sick. We know characters we're going to be getting in the Battle Pass, Gwenpool, who, despite what people think, and it's actually an in-universe joke, is not a variant of Gwen Stacy or Deadpool. She's a 
a human from our world, literally the world where Marvel comics are a thing. Yeah, so her name is literally Gwendolyn Poole, and when she told people her name was Gwen Poole, they assumed she was a Deadpool variant. So the person who made costumes literally gave her a Deadpool-esque costume, thinking she was a Deadpool ripoff. The pipeline is Megalodon. The mechanist talking to Megalodon, <laughs> that's cute. So we got, uh... Uh, we also have War Machine coming out. We have... Who else do we have? War Machine? Deadpool... Gwenpool, sorry. Shuri? We know Shuri Black Panther is going to be in this, which I'm very excited about. I don't know. You could do an entire battle pass that's just Spider-Man. And then you could... So, so I'm just going to throw some marbles out there. Ready? Tell me what you think. Marvel characters that should be in Fortnite. Let's start with Spider-Man. You want to redo, because again, I think having version exclusive skins and battle passes is dumb. They should all come back to the shop and you can rebuy them or you can rebuy battle passes and replay them. I think that should be obvious. Spider-Man, you do best versions of Spider-Man. You can do the Insomniac Spider-Man when Spider-Man 3 comes out and do that version. Uh, if you're doing more animated, cartoony style, Spectacular Spider-Man was the best animated Spider-Man we've ever got. Uh, if you want to do some cool suits, Iron Spider or the Stealth Suit from Secret War are both phenomenal. Um, I would do a reskin of Carnage, right? Because Carnage was a Battle Pass skin. So do a, an animated version of Carnage. That would be cool. Craven the Hunter. The, the trailer just dropped. I have not yet reacted to the trailer, but I'm really not excited of them doing a Craven story without Spider Man. Because Craven's Last Hunt is one of my favorite Spider Man stories. But yeah, I would do Craven the Hunter. You can do one from the movie and one more comic accurate. Black Cat, Felicia Hardy, would be awesome. Kingpin who's going to be in Daredevil in the new season of Daredevil uh, Born Again so do a, a Kingpin skin Lizard Doc Ock Vulture you have a lot of options there if you want other heroes you could do because we've done Spider-Man 2099 we've done Ghost Spider which is Gwen Stacy we've done Miles but you could do Spider-Woman Jessica Drew you could do her comic version and her Across the Spider-Verse version. Uh, my favorite of the recent Spider characters is uh, Cindy Moon, a.k.a. Silk. Oh, let me 
uh... So, this is easy. Ready? Marvel Comics. Let's go. Silk. Cindy Moon. You do her modern costume with the, the, bla the red mask, the black and white. Awesome. Although her original variant, where she's, her costume is literally made of webs, was, was kind of great. Um... He would fit so well. Agent Venom is Flash Thompson mixed with the Venom symbiote. Not Eddie Brock. Flash Thompson came back from war, lost both his legs. He, it turns out, Flash is the perfect uh, soldier to wield Venom, and he and Venom bond perfectly. Better than Eddie and better than Peter, better than any of them ever did. He and Venom are perfectly in sync, and he becomes Agent Venom and uses guns, and it's that'd be a perfect Fortnite character. Um... If you want another Spider-Man, Ben Riley's Spider-Man is pretty classic. And then you can do the new Chasm one, but I really didn't like Chasm. But like classic Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, right? Uh, villains, Lizard, could be really fun. Give him a tail as a back bling. But it's just him in his jacket. It'd be great. Doc Ock. Obviously, do the the tentacles as a back bling or as a uh, mystic or as a, a mythic uh, equipment. And then Craven, you do you do classic Craven like this, and then you can do the modern version from the movie. You know, who looks pretty good, I will say. That's not something I have a problem with. It's more like the, Mar you know what? And if you want to have fun with it, you go Morbin time and you do Michael Morbius who morbs all over the place. That would be a great Marvel one. Thor, and you do like this. You, cause there's, we've had two versions of Thor. We had his version from Ragnarok and we had a ultimate version of him, which is this version of Thor. Right? But you go classic Thor. Go that. Or that, even. Which is a little more MCU. <clears throat> if you want a cool variant, do the unworthy Thor. Where he's just a beat-up, tired old man. who, But is also really cool. Um, I think he was also a Battle Pass skin, Doctor Strange. But you could go more classic variant of Doctor Strange. Because he has a lot of different costumes. But, like, this is what he's, like, known for. And I think this is what they did in Fortnite. So go with maybe more MCU look. Or go... Without the cape. Something more... I mean, the cape, of, the cape uh, is just so iconic with him. Uh, it's a little too classic. No, oh, there you go. Something like that. Just go something a little different for Doctor Strange, and you could re-release Doctor Strange. There, there was a run where he was wielding an axe. I'm trying to remember which variant that was. Um, which run this was during. But, like, look at that. Imagine, tell, you can't tell me that would be a great cape as the back bling, axe as the pickaxe. And tell me that wouldn't make just a great Fortnite variant. Um, Iron Man, right, was one. So you could do the Mark 42, which is just uh, more, more gold armor. Because Model 42 is his modular armor. It's his most adaptable. If you want to do something like this, the Model 42 with the black and gold, that would be really cool. Uh, if you want to do the OG, 
and do the Mark I classic armor. Um, or if you want to do something cool, the Superior Iron Man. And that's when he had the liquid metal suit and was technically a villain for a while. I think that would be cool. Hmm. Oh, obviously you need to do Vision. So I would do Vision, and then I would do Viv Vision, who is his daughter. But she's a member of the Champions. She's a really cool hero. Uh, and she'd be a, a great, I think, addition. Who else did I think would be good? I jotted down some notes. Obviously... You do Namor. You do classic Namor, like something... Uh, that might be a little risque. Something like this would be good. Some more classic Namor. This is very iconic right here. And then you do one based more on the Black Panther version. A variant. That's easy. Obviously, he has the trident as his, back, as his uh, pickaxe set. Um, Underappreciated character. Really hope he comes back. Luke Cage... You do classic Power Man, and then you can do modern Luke Cage, who's just sick as hell. Literally bulletproof. The hero for hire. Alias herself, Jessica Jones. You could do one on her based on her jewel costume, and then one based on her detective costume, which is the black leather jacket. Defenders, and I think actually Kristen Ritter played her perfectly. I really liked Kristen Ritter as her. Then the other hero for hire, the Immortal Iron Fist. And you don't do the MCU one of that. You do, though this one was pretty good. This one was, um, I forget which variant this was. Was this the tournament one? And then you do classic, Immortal Iron Fist. Either of these would be perfect. But, like, that's great. Iron Fist would be a lot of fun. Okay, he also did have the white variant costume for a while, which looks really good. But I, I like the green better. I think it looks more classic. Um, obviously, we gotta get him. He's gonna be in the new Daredevil series. Punisher would be awesome for a Marvel series. Frank Castle. You could do a very basic one like this and do a variant. Or you could do something a little more elaborate. Or classic. This is when he was in the hand, right? That's the War Machine version of Punisher. Where is the Cosmic Punisher? That's what Punisher looks like right now in Marvel Comics. He's a Ghost Rider. He's the Ghost Rider Punisher, and he is the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And it's a wild run, I will say. Um... Obviously, this one needs to be done. You could do this when Thunderbolts comes out, because Thunderbolts is coming out soon. Um, and I would do a comic-accurate Winter Soldier, and then I would do a MCU Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier with the short hair, no mask. But, like, he's just... I love Bucky. And I loved the Death of, the Captain, Amer the Death of Captain America one. I think it was Ed Brubaker who did Death of Captain America when Bucky became Cap. This Bucky. Uh, right? That was... I think it was Ed Brubaker. The Death of Captain America by Ed Brubaker. Yep. Uh, if you, you know what? If you want to do... If you're going to do him for... Uh, Thunderbolts, which is coming out in uh, next year, do Yelena's Black Widow, or White Widow. This is her as the Black Widow. Right, if you look at her MCU version, do the Yelena Black Widow. When she's going to be in Thunderbolts, Florence Pugh. Easy. X-Men. There's so much you could do for X-Men. Uh, 
So I know Storm is a Battle Pass skin already, and they have Classic Storm as Battle Pass. Do the Uncanny X-Men version, which was newly released in... Because uh, they have this version, I think, right, as a Battle Pass, and Classic Storm. But do you could do one of her more modern looks, like this. I would... I would do Uncanny X-Men. Which is, yeah, this look. I think it's just too good. Other X-Men. Nightcrawler. You do Kurt during his swashbuckler phase. When he was wielding Three swords. One with his tail and one with uh, his things. And you know teleporting would make an amazing mythic power. Literally bamfing, because that's what he calls it. Um, one of my favorite X-Men as well, because I think he his devolution is, is so fascinating, because he's become far more of a complex and aggressive and not outright villainous character, but Beast is... So fascinating. I love Beast. The blue fuzzball, super intelligent, Mozart-loving Beast, and the violent, a little bit sociopathic Beast. Uh, we have Phoenix, but do classic Marvel Girl Jean Grey. Like, her new costume from the Krakoa era is beautiful. But then you could do something more classic, like Marvel Girl. You know? And maybe do a Phoenix variant. Like White Phoenix, because she's mastered that power in the comics in the past. It's not always Dark Phoenix. Or you could do something like this, which is more animated series. Um, who else would be great? Oh, man. Now, now my, my gears has been an Iceman would be really cool. And especially if they did an Iceman mystic where you're surfing ice around the map. How cool would that be? Oh, who else would be good? Yeah, uh, 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 Kitty Pride, a Shadow Cat, and you do Lockheed the Dragon as her back bling, or as an emote. Just you, you call forth Lockheed the Dragon. Kitty Pride's great. Or her, this is her Days of Future Past classic costume. Yeah. Got more popular in recent years with um, the with some of the comics. With uh, he was in New Mutants, that really bad movie. He's in X Men ninety seven. Robert the, Roberto da Costa as Sunspot, and you do his normal version, and then you you make it reactive. So slowly throughout the match, he becomes more Sunspot. Or you can have a built-in emote where he transforms, right? Uh, oh, we have um, Scarlet Witch, so why not Magneto's uh, second child, the other twin? Because he has three children. He's more than that, technically, but Quicksilver. Go classic Quicksilver. Look at that. That'd be great. You can mix that with some Flash emotes. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm always, I've always been a big fan of Forge. I think he's a really cool character. The greatest builder in the Marvel Universe. Not the greatest inventor. That would probably be Reed Richards, but he can invent anything. As long as he can think of it. He's underappreciated. And he has good taste, because he likes Storm. Alright, I got two more for X-Men. Bishop would be awesome. Bishop, you have him team up, team up with Cable. Come on, you do, and you do this, Bishop. You do classic Bishop. Look, at, oh, he's just so freaking cool. Bishop's such a cool character. I love his design. The M brand over the I. Oh man, power redirection. But obviously, you're not getting the powers. And the, the most recent one, who's gotten very popular over the past few years, oh, why did I type a C, is uh, the, we, we just got Colossus. So do Colossus's sister, Ileana, a.k.a. Magic. Uh, 
She has one of the most famous weapons in Marvel Comics, the Soul Sword. That big sword she's got right there. That, imagine running around the field swinging around the Soul Sword, which drains life. It opens portals to other dimensions. It does a lot of crazy stuff. I wonder if they have Dark Child magic on here. Because she has a bunch of variants, too. Like, where she, look at that, gold armor... She was the Queen of Limbo, which is a hell dimension, for years. There's Dark Child. You know, let me type in... Um, oh, right there, Magic Dark Child. Never mind. Don't even need to. Where she goes demon mode, literally. And I mean, that could be a reactive thing. Like, yeah, as Magic... As you get more eliminations, you slowly turn into a demon. Like, you grow horns. Your hair turns fiery. There's there's so many cool things you could do for... We got some new X and Mercury over here. Pixie, Onyx. That's the arc where they went to Limbo and got her back. All right, um, Fantastic Four. We're getting Doom, obviously. So then you do as a mini battle pass. So maybe the... Because I'm assuming Doom is going to be like the tier 100. So you have the, the secret battle pass. In this most recent one, it was Magneto. In the last one, it was Korra. In this one, you have it be the Fantastic Four. And you slowly unlock the four. So the first one you unlock is Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. The second one you unlock is Sue Storm. The third one you unlock is uh, Flame On, the Human Torch. And then the fourth one you unlock is Ben Grimm. Have them be a, a, a mini battle pass. Clobber in time, my guy. I mean, yeah, because Mr. Fantastic is the main one, but he's not the most popular. Sorry, but the most popular are Ben and Johnny and then Sue. Because Sue's great. Flame On and it's Clobber in time. And the last thing I can think of are, and it looks like they're doing this already, because we are getting some great villains. So we're getting, obviously, Emma Frost, who is the White Queen, va va -voom, Emma Frost. Um, we're getting Mysterio, which is awesome. I love Quentin Beck. I love Mysterio. I like him more in the comics and the, the silly variant of him than the faux hero he was trying to be in home er, in Far From Home. But he's a great villain. Um, I do wish we were getting a true Sabretooth. I think that would be awesome. Because I love Sabretooth. Victor Creed. Um... Red Skull would be an awesome villain. And you do like like this. Like this Red Skull. Not this one. Not Johann Schmidt kind of 1940s Red Skull. You do modern Red Skull. Terrifying. Awful. This one would be... This one should be a no-brainer. Ultron is a no-brainer in my opinion. Ultron should be a... Maybe you, you put him, you give him his own arc. Give him his own, like, villain status. If you want to tie it in... Oh, this is uh, the Ultron AI, the Age of Ultron, when he took over the world and they there's a special variant. Where, oh, it was wild. You could do one more based on the MCU version, but I would do more classic comic version. And then there was the, the variant from What If... With the, this one, with the Infinity Lance. How cool would the, I know people didn't like the Infinity Blade. I obviously was not playing Fortnite at that time. But this would be sick. Uh, a Ultron and then a What If Ultron. Um, 
If you have X-Men, you could do a Sentinel. Because there have been human-sized Sentinels before, the Prime Sentinels and stuff like that. But you could do a Sentinel costume. I feel like that would be cool. I don't know about him. He, he seems he seems kind of Hulk in shape. If you do the Hulk, you could do Juggernaut. Oh, yeah, he's coming up in, in a new movie. So if you have Hulk, you could do Red Hulk, Thaddeus, Thunderbolt Ross. Oh, obviously, we got a few more. Baron Zemo would be a great villain. Very manipulative, very cool. Sword, he has a lot of potential there. Mr. Sinister. And I would go, you could do classic Mr. Sinister. I would do more modern Mr. Sinister because I think he just looks cleaner and cooler with the beard and the just all black. Looks a little cooler. He also has a bunch of clones running around now. Mr. Sinister is weird. Uh, obviously, the final one, the final X-Men boss is Apocalypse. En Sabanur. I would do more this version. You could do Age of Apocalypse version, which is this. That's En Sabanur version. He has a lot of different variants, right? There's just there's truly so much potential you could do for a Marvel season. They got that version of X of Scott. You should, they should definitely do this version of Scott too, because this is probably the coolest costume he's ever had. Man, Betsy Braddock. All right. Those were just some thoughts I had, but I think that is where I'm going to call it for now. Uh, I will be back in a little bit, maybe like 20-ish minutes. I'm going to have a quick lunch. Um, and I'm going to do some Paper Mario. If you're interested in that, make sure you follow me. Tonight, I'm going to be reacting live to the Genshin live stream for 5.0. Uh, and in uh, tomorrow, I will be back to play the newest update for Fortnite. So make sure you're following me. Uh, you're following me here at uh, twitch.tv, or you're following me over at YouTube, uh, where all these videos are posted the next day. All right. Until next time, stay awesome. Peace. Oh, there you go.